We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Something to look forward to. where Atreus was. Mm -hmm. no. Kratos, ghost of Sparta, bane of Olympus, destroyer of fate, cruel strength, bringer of war, weapon of the gods turned against his creator. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot change. Ow. Certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Seems he was guarding that way outside. I swear he said what um, the line that Athena told him as well. Almost looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, I think this was where Atreus was.
Mamir of the AC. Ah, here we go. Counselor to Kings. Mary Wanderer of the Woods. Robin of the Good Fellows. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot, smartest man alive. <laughs> Gotcha. They're very annoying, those things. Very annoying. <laughs> Yes, as well. Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. Mm. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Lemir. <laughs> they see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Room magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! <laughs> Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. Okay. Uh. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, 
But this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the <laughs> sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! <laughs> <laughs> Door. Oh, that looks official. Hmm. Mother. My boy. Walter, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here. Wait! Walter, come back! Talk to me! Uh. Oh, Lord, oh. My mother. Oh. I am so sick of your constant mess! Oh. Oh. What you did to me! Oh. Oh. What oh. you did to me! Oh. 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 Selfish wick! Oh. 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 You will not what the hell? You will not harm him! Nobody harms my boy! But me! No! Brother, over here! Come get me! I want none of this! What the hell? Mimi! Seekeren? Brother, hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Just lie! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he cut you in the You saw his favor! You wanted his wars! You watched him destroy everyone and everything! And you never gave my day until you turned on you! I know, Secret. It's true. All of it. For the love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace. An ally to all those. Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To God? To grow up? Or to Tanya? No! You are the side of the powerful thing! You! Mother, watch out! There's more of them! Even now, you see a violent gun in me, and you can't help but aid him and call him brother! It's who you are! It's who you are! And it's who you are! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! Monsters! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Why would you see him the way he wants to be seen? I don't want to do that. I'm here. He's a bad guy. the test didn't feel much like succeeding I see the door has disappeared or it was never there 
They toy with us still. God damn. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. Whoa. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Away. Never doubted we'd make it. Yeah, I think Kratos is talking about the uh, the first battle in uh, was it God of War three? I think. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. Wow. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us see. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but called, you called him the, the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must be a way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard. And what? you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. 
focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> no, sure not. Well, that was educational. <laughs> okay, so is that it? We just go back. Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Hmm. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Yeah, you can predict every attack you're going to throw at him. <gasps> Makes it extremely tough. Even supposing no, would... we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination. And I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure. We've got no way to reach Heimdall. And no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother. But it's hardly my point. He can predict how the fight will end. That's the problem as well. I see something. You do. <laughs> Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. What do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. 
Well played, Norns. Hmm. <clears throat> Not good. And then we have to kill Rondo, we have to kill Rondo. Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though... I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Hmm. Norns have any good news for you? No. Ah. Maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? How can I help? I think we can upgrade the blades. Always yeah. a joy to work on these. Do you want to actually check on the... How many chests I can possibly open? We've got quite a considerable amount of raven. There. How was Sigrun when you saw her last? She's still incorporeal ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. Right, let's have a look. You got some slag from Do the like? whole land, huh? Yes, Hand it yes. over, I'll fix you Ravens, up some. the ones we've been destroying. Odin's little spies. Like the father of all, we swung from the tree. Wisdom gained father, servitude gained we. Swung from the tree. What do you suppose that means? And here I thought you were good with riddles. In life we hanged, in death we kneeled, until you freed us with your steel. Wisdom gained so destroying the ravens free their spirits somehow. Good to know. Free? Well, free of Odin's control anyway. Yeah. What was that? Let's see. Damn, I like the color. Now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like. He reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the Lindworms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. But putting all that aside for the moment, 
Is there anything else? No. I presume just exploring the realm and we'll find one, which is alright. You're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but... Go fetch Dropnir. Okay. What's what's that? Dropnir. I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Hmm. Not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should. It's just as likely a trap because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. The lady. Oh. Whew, that's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. To be honest, I don't like who I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence that follows him, that follows you both. I'm sorry. Hmm. Fair enough. 
You ready to go? See you out there. Yep, ready to go. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh no! This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You I have to. heard him. Quit your fret. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sentry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Okay. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Hmm. Why the hell? Hmm. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. Honey Boo. Uh. There. If we keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. It doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Hmm. Which we'll probably bump into. Well, I can see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Okay. Another oil spill. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. There you go. Shrimp, head in your way, fast! <laughs> Alka! 
Talk to Kratos. Give me one sec. Uh. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But. Oh dear. <sighs> it's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants conceal a mysterious <laughs> figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against God and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. Where there's a gear I like see. that, there's usually a chain somewhere. The sigil arrow should work with ice as well. I'm too used to the blades doing it. Oh, ho, ho. it shoots it. Bro. Wow, that's gone. It's open. It's gone. <laughs> Bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. Okay, okay. okay. That worked. Shall we? Well, maybe I have to go this way for now. This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok. That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my- I know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take. Hmm. 
guns. Now this is apple. Yeah, that's an apple. Good. More health. Seen that one before. Aha, okay. Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with a disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. Hmm. Oil spills in there. Ah. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence quite. Play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of the path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. That. That's a start. Why don't we try a sigil ah, arrow on... Well, 
ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. Hmm. Not look for anything I'm missing, just in case. Oops. <laughs> I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. Mm. Ah. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Folky! Oh, we're actually quite close to that other symbol I saw. Yeah, know, there it is. The way to the Why do I feel like this has your name on? There. It is an ingredient from the recipe. How did they reach this realm? Oh, they were well versed in realm travel. You see, Yari was raised a Midgardian warrior. Meant to fight in the family's wars. Find a wife. Aye, for glory. But he rejected it. He left. He followed his own path. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if we found their mark in other realms as well. Either way, man. You sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. Hmm. Better take out that nest, or it'll be eyeball city out here. Nice. These mutts? No wonder they shut the door. Yeah, hit me already. <laughs> Fire in the hole! Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger! I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? <laughs> well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Have a look. Come on there. Okay. 
Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Hmm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? I need that one. The dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you. They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Turn it again. Aye, aye. He is dead. We gotta have him close to Anything else? A chest over there. Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Okay. Ah, promising. Go! Once more. Aye, aye. Yep, I'm equipping that. Well, I think they seen us. to the forge. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger the more you take away from it? Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stomp, stomp. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, <laughs> For the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hmm. 
Good boy, you know. Hang on. I spell trouble. Okay, I like that ability.